With the most recent pandemic and the rising of inflation, more and more Americans are relying on side hustles to survive. Are you one of these? Let me explain the phenomenon on why more Americans are relying on side hustles to make ends meet. My name is Munif Ali, and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s, starting out in poverty. I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making these videos to share my life experiences so that I could teach others how to become more successful in life and in business. If you like the type of content that I give you, go ahead and please smash that subscribe button, like the video, and share it with people who might find this content useful. Having a side hustle in the United States is not something new to us, but the recent reports show that 41% of Americans need a side hustle to survive speaks a lot about the current economy compared to 31% in 2019. And the reason why they need a second job is for them to be able to afford the essentials like housing, gas, groceries, and even air conditioning and utilities. This is mostly the effect of rising inflation and the looming threats of a recession. There's always been a big difference between the reasons from taking a side hustle from 2019 and 2022. Before, only 36% of people relied on side hustles so they can pay for things like leisure and hobbies, while 26% used the money for savings. But this time in 2022, only 26% use it for leisure and 17% use it for savings. While more people need the money to survive, the personal savings of Americans have dropped to the lowest point in the past seven years. This is more likely to continue since those who are in lower income households will have to spend more money on necessities like inflation continuously increasing. Not only will it further affect the economy, but it will also further deteriorate the quality of life of people who are living from paycheck to paycheck. Hey, just so you know, every Monday we release a new episode of the podcast Empower Life where I give you unfiltered opinion, tips to help you become an aspiring millionaire or to get rich or just how to manage your money better and have a successful life. I hope that you could join us there. Because of the current stage of life of millennials, they're the ones having the most trouble when working for a side hustle. They need to work more to pay off their mortgages, their car loans, their student loans, and many other debts that they have. It also doesn't help if they have an expensive lifestyle. And they tend to compensate for their expenses by taking on more jobs. This need for a side hustle also includes saving money to pursue passions, especially since a lot of millennials saved money and took on more jobs during the pandemic. Women are also a large factor on why a lot of Americans need a side hustle hustle due to unequal pay. To compensate for their lower income, more women take on jobs to make ends meet. Sadly, it's been reported that women get paid only about half as much as men. The average income side hustle for men is $500, while most women get $250. And it also, quite frankly, depends on the particular job. I mean, obviously, if you're a bricklayer, then there's going to be pay, and I haven't seen that many people that are bricklayers that are women. So depending on the job as well, you have to understand that. So what can we do to help millions of Americans who are struggling to make ends meet? Support should come from employers first. Oh boy, are we liberal on this one. If companies can afford it, they should provide them with a pay adjustment. The good news is that around 63% of the companies are planning to take care of their employees and fight inflation. This is just the right thing to do so that we can all survive the increasing inflation and possible recession. Because how can businesses thrive without their employees? Each one should take care of each other. Individuals should also adjust their spending. That's part of the responsibility. They have to sacrifice on a few things and hobbies and passion projects and buying toys just for a while to add a little extra money to their savings and emergency funds. It's better to have a roof over your head rather than a collection of Jordans and fancy rims and toys and whatever non-essentials that you think you need to have to survive. Also, don't give up on hustling. It's times like these we're gonna get tested the most and this is where we're gonna see growth. From someone who survived by hustling and taking risks, I'll tell you it'll get better as long as you properly use your money and add to your savings. Remember, inflation is not gonna be around all the time. It might be around for a while and then we have dips and cycles in the economy. Thank you for watching and if you wanna learn more about inflation, watch this video next, Inflation Explained How to Protect Yourself When Inflation Hits.